All right then, gang. So now we've seen how to create variables using three different keywords, var, final, and const. And we've also seen that once we've given a variable a type of data, that type of data can't then be changed. So for example, this name variable is a string and therefore it can only ever be a string in the future. Now, so far, we've not explicitly added any type annotations to the variables to say what type they should be. Instead, we've just given them a value and Dart infers that type based on the value. So in this name example, we've not explicitly said anywhere that this name has to be a string. We've just given that variable a string value and Dart infers that type of the variable to be a string, meaning it always then must be a string in the future. However, we can also explicitly add type annotations to variables to say what type of data they should hold. For example, I could replace this var keyword with a string with a capital S to say this variable called name must be a string. So we're adding this explicit type annotation now to the variable. And if we try to assign a different value, which wasn't a string to the variable, then we're going to get an error saying that we can't do that because we've explicitly added this string type annotation to the variable to say whatever value is inside this name variable must be a string. So we can also do the same with other types of data as well. So for example, let me just come down below this print statement. I'm going to create an integer now. So normally I would say var age is equal to something like 25, but instead of var, I could say int like so. And now we're saying this is an integer, this age thing. So if I tried to assign a different value like a Boolean, then we're going to get an error because this is not an integer. So let me get rid of that and change it back to 25. And also we get this yellow underline because we're not using the variable. So we'll print it out to get rid of that print age. Okay, so we can also use booleans and we can type those by saying bool and then we'll say is open and we'll set that equal to true. And now this must be a boolean. So if I try to change this to a string, then it's not going to let me do that. We get an error because this is not a boolean. It must be a boolean, true or false. So let's print that again. So print down here is open to get rid of that little underline. And also we can use doubles. So this is a number, right? 25, but it's an integer. A double would be something that has a decimal point. So for example, 25.5. So I could say double and we'll call this average rating and we'll set this equal to 7.9, for example. So that would be a double right here. And if we hover over that, there's no error. But if we change this to a string, for example, then we should get an error because this is not a double. Now, if we make this an integer like so, then we don't actually get an error. So if we try printing this out now, let me say print and then average rating. I'm going to run this code over here. So hopefully we're going to see all of these things printed to the right. You can see it works. So we can say double and use what is essentially an integer here, but I couldn't add a 0.5 on here, I would get an error because this is a double, right? But in the future, if we changed the average rating, we can do it to something like 7.9 because this is a double and we're allowed decimal points on doubles. Okay. So if we run this again, then we should see 7.9 down here. Awesome. So I just wanted to make clear as well, when we're using these types, it's only the type that can't change. So we can't change the value. I could say name is equal to Luigi. That would be absolutely fine. I just can't change the name type into something else. Likewise for the age, we can change that to 30 and we'll do this as well. We'll say is open is false. Like so, and that's all absolutely fine. If we run this, we should get the updated values printed over here to the console. Again, it's just the type of data that can't change. Now, if you wanted something to be either final or const, you can just put that before the type annotation. So I could say now, if I wanted to, const string name equals Mario, and now notice we can't actually change the value because we've declared this as a constant. So let me get rid of that. I could do the same thing down here. I could say final this time. And again, I would get an error right here. We are getting this blue underline because it's saying, look, if you know this at compile time, why don't you change this into a constant? That's fine. I just wanted to show you we could do this with final as well, but we'll change it to constant to stop the complaining. And we get an error down here where we try to update the value of age because we can't do that now. 
All right. So this is how we use these explicit type annotations to say what these variable types should be. Okay, so there are other data types in Dart as well, like lists, sets, and maps, which we're gonna talk about later in the course, but the same rules would apply to those types as well. We could add the type annotations manually before the variable name, or we could leave Dart to infer the type for us. Now, a lot of the time, I probably won't be adding type annotations in front of variables, and I'll just let Dart infer the types instead, but there will be some occasions where I do manually add in the type annotation instead. And one of those occasions might be where we want to declare a variable and specify what type it should be, but not necessarily give it a value right away. For example, I might have a variable called points, which must be an integer. Now, I might not want to give this points variable a value to begin with, but instead just update it later on in the code. For now, I just want to declare the variable and say it must be of type int. Now, there's a small problem with this code because when we use type annotations to declare a variable, the variable cannot be null before it gets used. It's non-nullable by default. And that means if I try to print out the points variable, then I'm gonna get an error saying that the variable is non-nullable and it needs to be assigned a value before it gets used in the code. This behavior in Dart is called null safety and it's there to prevent unintentionally having access to variables which are null. However, sometimes you might want a variable to be null before it gets initialized with an actual value. And to allow that null value for a variable created this way, we just need to add a question mark directly after the type annotation. Now we're saying that this variable must be an int when we assign a value to it, but until then it's okay being null. And we now no longer get an error. All right, so hopefully now you understand a little bit about how we can add type annotations to variables. We will also be adding type annotations to other things in the rest of this course as well, starting with functions in the next lesson.